we quote the Mishnah, Chutz Menayayin Vachulei, except for wine, etc. I can't take you back to the Mishnah, but I'll tell you what it says. On all fruits of the tree, we say, Bayri Pri Ha'etz, except for wine, which we say, Bayri Pri Agafen. How do we know that this is a quote? Well, the way that I could tell that is because there's a very small amount of, few words in between a colon here and a colon there. That's, this usually means that there's a quote. Um, as we learn, we'll get some more examples of that, possibly. I don't have one down here. Um, a gufa is another type of quote, but that's usually a quote from uh, Miraim or... Um, I'm not sure if a gufa is a brysa. I'm not sure. Okay, the Gemara asks on this that, uh, except for wine, that on wine we say bari pri agafen, the Gemara asks, my shnayayin. What is different about wine? The word my means what? Shna means different, and yayin means wine. Ilema, if we say mishum de ishtani le'iluya. I'm going to put a colon there. And because the ishtani, that it changed le'iluya for the better, therefore ishtani lebracha. Well, the reason I put the colon is to say that it to add in the therefore. I don't know if that's the best way of doing that, but that's what I mean by that. Because it changed for the better, so it, the bracha also changed. What does it mean change for the better? Well, it started at, as grapes, and now it turned into uh, wine, which is an improvement. Well, the bracha also started as eights, and now it turned into a guffin, which is an improvement. Now, the reason why I say it's an improvement is because it's more specific, and any bracha that's more specific is an improvement. Vahare shemen... And behold, Shemen, this is really a but, behold, Shemen. Bahare Shemen, but we have oil. Uh, I got to do that as a comma. The Ishtani Le'iluya, which also changed for the better. Iluya is like an Eloi. And the word Ishtani, like we had here, De Ishtani or Ishtani or De Ishtani, it's all the same word as Shna, which is different. And here, ishtani means changed. Shna means different. Ishtani means changed. That it, oil also changed for the better, which means it started as an olive, and it turned into oil. Velo ishtani livracha, and it did not change for the blessing, which means the blessing on oil is going to be... Let's hold on and we'll see. The Amar Rav Yehuda Shmuel. For Rav Yehuda says in the name of Shmuel... And Yossi got this. I asked where before did we have Rabbi Yehuda in the name of Shmuel. And it was on the last page where it says anyone that eats without a bracha. Uh, it's as if they had benefit from the, what's sanctified for heaven. So um, we're looking here for the halacha of olives, what bracha we're going to make on olive oil. Rabbi Yitzchak also says in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, these are Amirayim of Eretz Yisrael, and Rabbi Yudem Shmuel is Amirayim of Bavel. What do they say? Shemen zayeth, olive oil, mevarchem alav, b'yri priha eitz. And finally, I'm going to put a question mark there, even though you're not supposed to read that as a question, so it's a question mark in parentheses. Olive oil and make ha'etz. Now, this is a little surprising. No one thought that you should make ha'etz on olive oil, but that is the halacha. Now, what we're seeing now is that I have wine that changed for the better. That means it started as grapes and turned into wine. And I have oil that started as olives and turned into olive oil. The wine that changed from grapes to wine started as ha'etz as a grape, and it turned into a guffin as wine. The olives, which started as ha'etz for for on the olive itself, but when it came into oil, it remained to eight. And that's what Rabbi Yehuda says the name of Shemuel, and Rabbi Yitzchak says the name of Rabbi Yechelen. So, if you just say because of it, the change, uh, the improvement, that's not enough. So Amri, they say, now we need to answer. Hasam over there, which means by oil. The word Hasam is like Sham, because a tough and a shin is interchangeable, which means there... Mishum, because the lie, Because it's impossible. 
What does it mean it's impossible? It means it's impossible. We don't have a bracha to say on it, so we didn't change it. Hechi nabrich. Hechi means how. Hechi nabrich. How should we bless? I'll put a question mark. How should we bless? Nabrich boire pri hazayas. Shall we say? The nun before makes it into um, we and the shall we or let us. Nabrich boire pri hazayas. Shall we say? Who creates the fruit of the olive? Well, that's not going to work because Pera Gufa, the fruit itself, Zayas Ikri, is called the olive. See, the difference between the vine and the olive tree is in the Bracha, I say, Bayer to create the fruit of the vine. Now, the fruit of the vine is the grape. So I'm talking about the grape. The fruit of the vine is the grape. I don't say it on grapes. I only say it on wine because that's the improvement. But what should I say for oil? If I say the fruit of the olive. The olive is the fruit. It's not the tree. I need a name for the tree. So if you're going to tell me Bari Priha eats, then I'm back where I started with. So that, that's sort of what the Gemara is saying. Mishim you don't have another bracha. All you have is the uniqueness would be the zayas. It, it, uh, the tr- olive tree doesn't have its individual name like a vine, like a grapevine, which is geffen. So either you're going to say bari so you're going to say bari zayas, and bari zayas doesn't make sense. So we said bari But really, what's the reason why wine has its own bracha? That's only because it improved. And don't ask oil because oil was uh, impossible to adjust the bracha. The Gemara says, "V'navrich alei," but let us say the bracha on it. Bayre pre eight zayas. Say who creates the eight zayas? Make it more specific. Bayre pre eight zayas, and that we could have done that if we wanted to make a specific bracha on something that improved. So Ella Amar Marzutra, rather Marzutra says, "Chamra wine." Zion is nourishing. Mishcha, but oil, loy Zion is not nourishing. Chamra means either a donkey or wine, and like the, the joke goes that it's impossible to tell if it's a donkey or wine. Uh, the only way to tell is by the type of kick you get out of it. Um, so here, Chamra, of course, means wine. That's what we're talking about. You can only tell from context. Uh, Zion, it's nourishing. Mishcha is oil. That's uh, like mashach is like to anoint in Hebrew. Mishcha is Aramaic for oil. Loi Zion is not nourishing. So again, the answer that Marzuch is saying is what's the reason why wine has its own bracha? Is because it's nourishing. And oil does not get its own bracha. It just stays at her at her eights. That's because it's not nourishing. Now, we'll see in the next um, piece of Gemara that that may not be necessarily so. Whatever the case is, uh, if you have a question here that you never heard of making ha'etz on oil, uh, that we'll see as the Gemara goes on that it's possible that you never drink oil uh, for the reasons that would require a ha'etz. You probably ate it with something else.